everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Valerie Dyson and I am doing a dramatic smoky eye look today as you can tell um yeah before I get into this video too much um, I did use four products that I will have in my future giveaway that video will not be posted into the 26th of this July um, but yeah um, the 26th of July, I will be posting that summer giveaway video um, at 1 p.m. Central Time. And four of the products that is in the giveaway and um, I did use on my face. I have like a set for me and then a set that's in the box, um, already in the box, ready for a winner. But okay, so um, the main thing... I've been using a lot here lately is the Morphe 3502 palette and today I used some of the colors um, I used the color pure right here on my brow bone and also a little bit on my lids in um, the lower lash line but the main attraction in this eyeshadow look is the so warm color this one um, it's just a beautiful color. Um, it's like a very rich brown looking color. Um, and let's see, I always use the color stone for my brows. Um, so I use that one also. And I think that's the only ones I use today. But I do have an um, other eyeshadow tutorial that I posted the first of this month if you want to go and see me uh, use that palette in another video. Um, another thing I used was the Too Faced Hangover um, Primer. This is also in the giveaway. Um, I really love it. It's really good for dry skin. It's not too moisturizing so I could totally see someone with normal to dry skin using this primer. Um, I did use it today and it makes my makeup look really smooth and it just like I noticed when I used my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow like normally it's always pigmented but today it was like wow but yeah I'll have that in the giveaway and I used for the first time today um, and you'll also see little clips of me um, trying it out for the first time um, the Too Faced uh, Sweetheart I guess no the, yeah, the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in the color Sweet Tea. Um, yeah, I have that on today also, which it is a very nice, very blendable color. Um, I really enjoyed it, using it today. Um, that's also in the giveaway, but this one's mine. Yours is in the box. And the last thing that I will have um, that I used in this video that will also be in the box for a giveaway is this Morphe Setting Mist. I really love this mist, y'all. Um, I totally see myself repurchasing it in the future. Um, yeah. Um, I won't know if I can ship this, the one I have for you, um, because it is gonna be an international giveaway, so I'll have to see who actually wins to see if uh, I am available to ship it since it is in like an aerosol can or whatever. But if I can, I will send it. If not, I will replace it with something that I really love and of the same value. But without further ado, let me do the try on part. All right, the first thing we're going to start off doing this smoky dramatic eye is the Milani eyeshadow primer. And since that doesn't cover up my freckles on my eyelids, I'm going to have to pair it with my Tarte Shape Tape um, just to give it more coverage. After that, I'm going to use my Morphe 3502 palette and I'm going to go in with the color So Warm and it is this color right here. And really all I'm going to do is pack it in, starting with the outside edge, um, going about like that one, just going through really high up, um, but not all the way there, and then kind of keeping it 
a little bit lower down on the inner corner and just working a little circular part and blending it out. Now I'm going to use this. It's actually like a um, detailed highlighter brush, but I'm going to use it to blend out my eyeshadow. Then I'm going back in with this so, so Warm color from the Morphe palette again and just deepening up that color where it's blended out a little too much. Then I'm going in with the same Morphe 3502 palette and I'm going to use this very shimmery um, eyeshadow color in the color Pure and this is the color and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone and it later will be on my um, upper and lower lid. Right after that, I am going to go in with that same pure color and I'm going to put it just on the center of my eye right here, just like this one. Now I'm going to use that as a guideline for my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the color Midnight Cowboy and I'm just going to use this right over that shade just to intensify and make it more dramatic. This is the part you're going to have to be careful, especially if you have hooded eyes like me. You don't want this glitter to go up on your upper eyelid. Um, so just keep your eyes like this and I forgot my fan so I'm going to be right back. And of course I couldn't help but to touch that spot I told you to watch out for so I'm just going in with a dry q-tip to get it off. It should flake off after it's pretty much dry. Now I'm going to fan the rest down. Um, next thing I'm going to go in with my false lashes I got from Wish. I will have all these products I'm using on my face today in my description box below so don't forget to check that out. But this is what the lashes look like. I already have one cut down and that is it. I already used the other one on the other eye. I'm going to use my um, Kiss uh, eyelash adhesive but I don't recommend this. Go for the Ardell. Uh, white tacky light glue and it dries down clear it's a lot better than this one all right now after um, you put your lashes on let it have time to dry before doing mascara and you can go ahead and do your foundation which I would normally do but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this lower part um, to the eye and then I'll probably end up redoing it maybe if I mess it up by doing a foundation later. I'm just going to use that same color from the Morphe palette, the So Warm color and going to um, do this same number on the lower lash line. Just uh, kind of continuing it um, like so, making it like a round, roundish looking effect through here and just pretty much going all the way to where your lashes begin on the inner corner. And I want it to be really smudgy, really, really dramatic, so I'm going pretty far down my, um, my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with that same pure color from the Morphe palette, and I'm just going to um, put it on a small little brush and uh, making a guideline with that goatish glitter color right in the middle of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to intensify with the same um, heavy metal glitter lining from Urban Decay in the color Midnight Cowboy. Now I'm going to dry it off with my fan. So after that, I'm just going to clean it up with my Burt's Bees Facial Cleaning Palette. And I'm just going to clean it up a little bit just so I will have a better guideline to go by. But you want it rounded out, so be careful when cleaning it up. Like so. 
Now I'm going to use the ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek in the color Flexitarian and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. Now the eyelash glue should be dried down now so I'm going in with my Kickstarling False Lash Extreme Volume and Length Mascara and I'm just going to coat my upper and lower lashes. Right, and then that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow part. I'm going to go do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. This is the end of this dramatic um, smoky eye tutorial or look. I hate saying the word tutorial because um, to me that means you know what you're doing, but I don't. I'm just playing with makeup. But yeah, um, I will have everything that I used on my face in the description box below like I already said. Um, and don't forget to um, stay tuned for my future giveaway, my summer giveaway uh i used four of the products in this video it was the morphe 3502 the uh Too faced hangover and the Too faced sweetheart bronzer and also the morphe setting spray as long as i'm it's a like it's allowed to ship i will ship this if not i will replace it with something of the same value but yeah this is the look i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you buddies next time